So Gale's ball. Love to play at a deliberate pace. Nice defensive play, and the shot was blocked. Raleigh Wooster is a very good defensive player. Carlson inside, matched up against Jefferson, and he scores. Obviously, they just took the loss against Weaver State. But this is a team that plays very well in that building and feeds off the energy of the crowd. But they're not built to come from behind. Carlson contested shot, and that one's good. And ultimately, they're going to have to make shots like that last one. Jefferson was wide open for a three and just missed it. Here's Brandon Carlson down low. Saxon now matched up against him. Didn't matter. Another tough shot goes down. Yeah, you, you just know that that was emphasized for Utah in their scouting report. Just a breakdown. Wooster three for the answer. Good. And I do believe that his stretch at the end of that game was the best that any player played in college basketball. Now Gabe Madsen hits a three. Struggle to find shots that fall through the hoop. But this has been a lot of fun to watch because these two teams are playing fast, they're playing with purpose, and they're playing aggressively. No whistle. Duke has hit the floor, but no foul. Here's Madsen's three, and that one's good. Utah making shots from everywhere. Down low, oh, good look from Brandon Carlson. And, and, and Mahaney got caught watching the ball. <laughs> what we're going to get is, a, is, is a Keith Van Horn available as a special <laughs> guest. How about Andre Miller? I'll take it. Andre Miller. This counts as a missed shot, and that points don't go on the board. So. <laughs> Jumper no good. Kata gets another offensive rebound. His second in a row. Oh, how about that? that? From Gabe Madsen. St. Mary's offense, though, only one shot made here in the second half under the basket, and Forbes threw it off the back of the backboard. That's a Utah turnover. Out on the break, St. Mary's pinned up against the backboard. Chris Howell just kind of flung it up there, and Brandon Carlson hustled back and grabbed it. Now down low, the move by Lovering with a foul. Jefferson played good defense that time on Brandon Carlson. Been quiet since the early minutes. Erickson down low scores. Three free throws went down for Utah. So their lead is 60 52. And Kana saves it off of Saxon out of bounds. And what a second half this young man is playing. Now Wooster, floater off the glass is good. What a shot by Raleigh Wooster. And they're not getting a lot of production off their bench right now either, though, Dave. Yeah, that's a chase dilemma. Wooster wow. hits the three.